Good evening, Facebook. This is Ashley Muse, your feminine magic coach. Um, today's video is going to be about hindsight and how you can turn your experiences into magic and power. So before we get into that, I want to remind you guys about the webinar that I have available. It's the seven secrets to rising into your queen energy with your feminine magic. So that webinar covers so many juicy topics about, you know, awakening your feminine allure and your confidence, how to set better boundaries, how to command the room with your energy and command more respect from the people around you. And another important part and another important topic that I covered is information on the divine masculine energy as well. You know, our divine masculine energy is really important, is a really important part of our feminine magic journey because that part of us is responsible for the way we structure our lives and the way we set boundaries and our ability to speak up and express what we need to express. So if you're feeling a little weak in any of those areas, that may be a sign that your inner masculine energy needs to be healed and elevated. And also the masculine energy within you determines what kind of men you attract externally as well. So that's definitely something to consider. I know a lot of women are struggling with relationships and maybe men that they don't trust or men that are a little flaky and hot and cold. And that could be a sign that it's reflecting something in you. So that's definitely information you want to check out and look into. So make sure you click the link down below to get instant access to your webinar, The Seven Secrets to Rising into Your Queen Energy with Your Feminine Magic. So today's topic is about hindsight and it's, it's inspired by some personal things I've been going through. Um, I'm in the process of leaving a job that I've had for four years and I also recently left a relationship. Um, and I don't know about you, but for me, as soon as something ends, whether it's like a relationship or a friendship or a job, my mind always wants to think of the things that I didn't say. My mind always wants to think of the boundaries that I didn't set or, you know, all the things that I didn't speak up on. And if you spiral down into that rabbit hole, it can really create a lot of guilt and a lot of shame and a lot of pain, even more pain. And I think it's really important to be easy on yourself and learn how to find the lessons in all of your experiences. Because I know for me, like I have a habit of putting a lot of pressure on myself for some reason for not predicting the future, <laughs> as if I'm supposed to predict the future and figure out exactly how something was supposed to unfold and, and exactly how someone was supposed to turn out to be. You know, I was putting that kind of unnecessary pressure on myself and I realized that that's not possible. You can't predict the future. You're not ever going to know how something is going to unfold or turn out. You can have, yeah, there might be signs here and there. There might be little things that you may have missed, but don't shame yourself for that. Like, Everything we go through is a learning experience. It's an opportunity for growth. And a mentor of mine always says that there's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as rejection. It's only a rearranging of energy. It's just redirecting you into what you need to go to. And it's redirecting you to the things that are meant for you. So if you can take a minute to kind of think about, you know, what are you holding on to? What do you feel guilty about? What do you wish you could have said that you didn't say? And really try to move from self-blame into empowerment and really notice, okay, well, what did I learn from that experience? What wisdom did I gain from that experience? What, what practice did I get from that experience? Because that's how I'm starting to look at things. It's just as practice. You know, there's no such thing as failure. You just have to try. Sometimes you just have to risk it and just go and try things. And sometimes you're going to fail. Sometimes it's not going to work out. Sometimes... You're going to date somebody and they end up being different than what you thought. And that's going to hurt. There's going to be a period of time where you feel pain or shame or sadness or you feel rejected. And definitely hold space for yourself. Definitely process those emotions. But also remember that it's not possible to, to predict anything. It's not possible to really know how anything is going to unfold. Sometimes... You know, I know it's cliche, but everything does happen for a reason. You know, the, you, we always get the lessons that we need in life. And that's a really important lesson to remember. It's really important information to remember that you're always going to attract what you need to learn. And when I go into things, whether I'm meeting new people or dating or having a job experience, I just remember that at the end of the day, I trust myself. And if anything, 
they're just here to show me what's in myself. So if you can take your experiences and really learn and really take a look, like, what did I learn about myself in this experience? How, how can I speak up for myself better? What boundaries do I need to reevaluate? What, what's, what standards do I need to reevaluate for my life? What, what is this teaching me that I want? What do I, what do I want? What do I don't want? You know, everything that we attract is really teaching us what we want in life. And it's really important to remember that and not be so hard on yourself because sometimes you don't see a situation for what it is until you're out of it. And that's definitely a pattern for me. I know it's a pattern for a lot of women. And that's actually a good thing. Like, you're not a psychic. You're not supposed to really know exactly what something is going to be until you experience it. And that's really how you gain wisdom. That's how you gain power. That's how you gain strength. So if you can take all of your experiences that you've been through and really take a look and see, like, what did I learn from that? What did I, what did I get out of that situation? And really turn that pain and that experience into your magic and into your power. So the one thing that's important is that we all have, or so one thing that's important to know is that we all have blind spots, and sometimes you can't see what your lessons were in a situation. Sometimes you don't know what something is teaching you, and I know that's another common problem for a lot of women is that they keep a- attracting the same pattern over and over and over again, and they don't understand why, and it's because they can't see what the lesson is. They can't see what the wisdom is in there. They're not learning the lesson that's in that situation. And that's kind of what's keeping the the pattern and the cycle keep going and going. And it's really important to get help and to get support and to get a mentor because having somebody with the right intuitive eye can definitely help you see your blind spots and see where you're stuck and definitely get you to take the right action in order in order to move out of it. Because usually When we keep attracting the same type of situation, there's some kind of wound, there's some type of pain or memory that is trying to get your attention, is trying to come up to the surface for you to heal. And I feel like everything we go through is just a healing opportunity. It's an opportunity for healing and for growth. And But unfortunately, if you don't know how to see into your situations, you're going to keep attracting the same situations over and over. You know, for some women, that's the same unhealthy relationship patterns all the time or maybe they have you know they don't have the confidence that they want or maybe you know they keep attracting backstabbing type of friendships or they keep attracting people in their life that are aggressive or controlling and there's always some kind of lesson in everything that we attract so i think it's it's really important to get help and to seek support if you've been going through the same pattern for 5 10 20 30 years If you want to stop that, if you want to really learn how to stop that negativity and that unhealthy pattern and really learn how to rise above it it and really step into that elite feminine magic, that elite feminine woman, you know, in order to do that, you have to get support and you have to really invest in yourself in order to see and make real changes in your life. So if that sounds something like you're interested in, make sure you reach out to me. I will leave my link down below for my free discovery call. Um, It'll be a 30-minute call, just you and I, and we'll go over anything that, any challenges that you're going through, anything that you're feeling stuck with, anything that you would like to work through, and I can definitely give you my insights on how I can design a proper plan for you on how to change your life and really step out of that wounded, unhealthy cycle into a life of luxury and a life of elite magic and more confidence and juicy, magnetic self-esteem. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you click the link down below. I will leave my link to my scheduling down below so you guys can reach out to me. Or you can message, private message me as well. I would love to support you as best as I can. So I hope you guys enjoy that video. If you have any questions, any personal questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will come back and answer it later. And I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you later.